Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the door switch in an LG washer. It's going to be a very easy repair. should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a flat blade and a Phillips screwdriver and a pair of wise grip pliers. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new door switch. The door switch locks the door whenever the washer is operating and communicates the status of the door to the main control board. If the washer won't start the cycle or stops in the middle of one, the door switch should be tested and replaced if needed. Let's start with opening the door. And then we need to get on the floor and using the flat blade screwdriver pry off the outer door boot seal clamp. So next thing we're going to remove the boot seal of the right side of the opening. So we can reach in there, tack it in. And then using the Phillips screwdriver, remove the two screws that hold the switch. And I'm going to reach in and pull out the switch. So now we're going to press the locking tab and disconnect the wire plug. All right. This is the old door switch next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Now we're going to connect the new door switch to the wire harness plug. Push it in. The pin is locked. And next, we're going to reach in and check if the wire harness is out of the wire clamp there. There's a plastic clamp. And when we pull the old switch out, it's possibly that it will come out. Yeah, it's actually out, so we just press it in. And then we can install the switch. Match that uh, switch inlet with the cutout. And secure it with two Phillips screws. All right, now we're going to install the boot seal over the door frame lip. Make sure it's installed all around. Do the visual check. All right, now we can install the clamp. Place the clamp on into the groove with the spring at 6 o'clock and start from the top. And the left side. All right, so the spring is in. Next, we're going to clamp on the wise grip pliers right at the end of the spring. And jam the flat lead screwdriver right around 3 o'clock. And pull on the spring and install the clamp into the groove. Then remove the wire grip. Again, make a visual check then uh, make sure that the clamp is on correctly. And then just pull hard 
ha ne bud si jobb. It's better stay on. It stays on, that means we did a good job. And now we can close the door. Plug the washer in and make sure it runs good. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook and on YouTube.